Right, yeah. So we're starting a new topic, uh, which is good because if we're going to go to a new mode of uh, learning, then let's start do with a new uh, a new topic as well. Um, we're looking at uh, uh, loans and investments. And we're going to start off with what used to be called the compound, or it's probably still this, the compound interest. And the compound interest formula uh, says that the future value of an investment is equal to the present value of the investment outside of one plus R to the power of N. Now, let me explain all of those. Um, actually, let me uh, give it uh, another version of that. Another version, so it's, it's the exact same formula rearranged. So if you think about what this formula is saying, it's got a, a, a term. Uh, don't write this part down. Just have a look at it. Uh, future value uh, equals present value times this bracket here. All it says is, here is a term, here is a term, and here is a term. If I wanted to get, uh, make B the subject of the formula, if I wanted the, the, the formula to say B equals, then I've got to get rid of the C. What's the C doing on the right-hand side? It's okay, you can answer me. Okay, right, it's multiplying. Okay, So the C is multiplying on the right-hand side. So if I want to get rid of the C, then I divide. So A divided by C... Yeah, that's all the algebra that I'm going to do. So if you understood that little step of algebra, I'm just going to do exactly the same thing over here. I can rewrite this, so B equals A divided by C. I'm just going to do exactly the same thing over here. Future value equals present value times this ugly thing in the brackets. So I can rearrange that to say, well, that means that my present value equals my future value divided by that bracket there, 1 plus R to the end. Now let me go through and explain what all of those uh, actually mean. So FV is the future value of an investment. What does that mean? Well, when I make an investment, I come along, here I am, uh, a young, fit, strapping 21-year-old at the start of my working career, uh, and I put some money away, right? So, uh, I, I, you know, uh, whatever. I, I got a gift for graduating. Uh, some, a family member gave me $1,000 for graduation. Right? If I take that $1,000 and I invest it today in 2020, well... I'm going to put it in the bank and it's going to start to earn interest. That interest is going to grow. And then so later on down the track, uh, I, I, might, I, might be, I, don't know, I might be 31, so I might have waited 10 years. That investment is going to grow to a, a new value. Right? So here I am in 2020 putting my $1,000 in. That's my present value. As I look down the track to 2030, uh, 2031, the value then is going to be my future value. So it's the value, the future value of an investment. PV is the present value. So what am I putting in now? Or what is it in, in today's dollars? Uh, it's also thought of another good way to think about this, and it's using a little bit of the older terminology for compound interest, is to say that uh, a PV also represents the the, uh, the principal amount invested. So the, the, the bit that you put up to start. Okay. Uh, R is the rate of interest. Now, V 
very important, very important, uh, 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 R must be expressed as a fraction or a decimal, not as a percentage. And N is the number of terms over which the investment is held. And one little note, I'll explain this as we, as we start to look at some examples. Uh, another little note, N and R must agree. So what do I mean by that? That means that uh, if your uh, interest is, say, con like, and we'll, again, we'll get to what these terms mean uh, when, we, when we look at some of the examples, but if I say that my interest is compounding monthly, for example, my interest is compounding monthly, well, that means that I I've, I've, uh, need to make my interest in terms of months and my N in terms of months. So if I say I've got an investment for three years with my interest compounding monthly, I can't use three years for my terms. I need to change that three years to months. Three times 12 is 36, so it's 36 months. So N and R must agree. We'll see how that works in some examples in just a moment. Okay. Uh, Another, another way that people write this, uh, this formula, the exact same formula, they just use different symbols, is sometimes they write A equals P inside of 1 plus R to the N. A is your future value, P is your, your principal investment or your present value. It works exactly the same way. Don't panic if you see this written in some textbooks or some older exam papers. Okay? That's exactly the same formula, just just using slightly different uh, names for some of the terms. Okay, well that introduces the compound interest formula. Uh, in the next video, we're going to have a look at how we uh, we use the compound interest formula with some examples.